Hello, my name is Mark Evans, and this is my interview content, and enjoy! I am attorney F. Alberto Oano. I'm from Madawi City. I'm a lawyer by profession, a civil servant, and a blogger, and at the same time a professor. So considering that I was able to obtain scholarship programs from Madawi City government, in college, I thought that, you know, computer engineering might be a good degree because, you know, the promise of work after graduation is quite high. And indeed, I became a computer engineer, worked as a computer engineer for several years in a multinational company until uh, boredom sits in and I enrolled myself to law school. I supported my way to my law school through the help of some scholarship programs sponsored by you know, some government units and some private individuals. I was very thankful for it and right now, I think that's uh, one thing that I want to pay back as well to the community of what I've achieved as of the moment. Well, in my case, I work for the government and at the same time I work for the academe. I'm teaching at the University of San Jose Recoletas for aspiring lawyers. It's nice to be a lawyer because you'll be able to meet certain group of people, your clients. There are different fields of specialization although when you are studying for law there's really no need to specialize on something. The general laws and specific laws will be given to you but in practice, for convenience, sometimes lawyers would go on some specialized fields like there might be some family lawyers, property lawyers, you have real estate lawyers, you have corporate lawyers. But a lawyer is always capable of, of all of these fields. It's just that for the sake of convenience, they tend to specialize a certain field. My first appearance in court was when I substituted my the other lawyer who represented his client because he's absent. I, will, I actually freaked out because it's my first time, but at the same time, I was very thrilled because for, for quite a year, I've been dreaming about this and here we are doing it. Uh, it was not really very difficult for me since my training was then on mooting and debating. So I had already an idea of what it is to be at court uh, somehow, so right because of that, I happened to commit myself to training my students in a way that they will not freak out on their first day in court because they had already somehow been brief of what to expect and what to do in court. So in my classes, I always integrated that kind of training so that they will not uh, be scared in appearing before the courts on their first day. There's really no compensation brackets for lawyers, you know. Uh, it all depends on how much hard work you put in on your work and for sure you'll be compensated well. If you are a hard-working lawyer, for sure, the, the prospect of having a comfortable life is quite evident. So if you want to become a lawyer, you want to become rich, that is very possible. Especially for aspiring lawyers, they probably wanted to become lawyers because of what the uh, what they saw on the TV, well, the courts are totally different from what you probably saw on the TV series here. What is important though is you were able to provide justice. Let's just, you know, forget the aesthetics for a while. The best perhaps would be when you learn that you won the case for a client, but I think being a lawyer alone is already really good enough because when you become a lawyer, the respect of the community and how you, they look up to you and cherish your opinions on things and matters relating to, to them, that is quite good enough and it's, that's very rewarding already. Well, it's not really the worst, but something that we can probably improve on. Uh, Cebu City, for example, we experienced appearing before makeshift courts under the tree. This was uh, after the earthquake that rocked Cebu. And even up until now, there are certain courts that are still from makeshift offices. And I hope we can improve that and provide better facilities, better courts, for especially those for those people that really need uh, justice. It would somehow give dignity to the institution. There had been several instances wherein the judiciary system is uh, not given that enough budget to come up with 
better courts and better facilities. Would you recommend a jury system in the Philippines? That is something I have not really think uh, upon, but uh, if you look into it, that would be additional cost for the judiciary. And the issue that I raised earlier about better courts, that might just compound the, the problem. And besides, I'm not very sure as to the maturity of the people to be picked as jury. That might be something that we really need to carefully study. Oh, <laughs> do we really have to go into that? But anyway, yeah, I think that is a myth against lawyers. Uh, I don't believe in such a thing. Lawyers just present facts, and sometimes facts may not be favorable to you. And of course, lawyers will do anything to present an argument that is favorable to his or her client. And the feeling of his client is also a fact. And that feeling might not be true to you, but to the client is very true to him. And that is what the lawyers is presenting to the court, just to convince the court that indeed, there is some merits into that argument. Never doubt if you wanted to become a lawyer, never doubt that you will become one. But the first thing that you need to do is, of course, you have to have yourself enrolled in law school. It's so hard to live with what ifs. Why not try living? Why not? <laughs> Perhaps it would be this, allow yourself to evolve. You don't have to settle for something that you find already comfortable today. You always aspire to have a better life the next day. And the moment you lose aspiring for greater things is the moment that you probably stop living. It's so hard to live with what ifs. Why not try living? Why not? <laughs> if you find this video helpful and interesting, consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.